Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, earlier tonight, I made a video where I made the call, and I'm standing by the call, that the Green Bay Packers at plus seven and a half should be able to cover against the Seattle Seahawks. Right, I think the seven and a half is way too much. Quite frankly, I think a touchdown, seven, is way too much. Right, I referenced the 2012 game. In that video, I erroneously said that that's the last time these two teams played in Seattle. What I meant to say, with the best of intentions, was that's the last time they played before this season in Seattle. They did meet week one of the season, opening week. I typically discount opening week when I do my analysis of games. I don't believe opening weeks are good bellwethers of what the team is going to do the rest of the year, right, in a head-to-head -head matchup. Let me point out, for those who may not recall, Seattle won that game 36-16. I know many of you here online are arguing that that shows that Seattle can put up a lot of points on the Green Bay Packers. But what I want you to do is to actually dig deeper into that box score. What you're going to find out is that in terms of net passing yards, neither team had even 200 net passing yards, right? In terms of total passing yards, just understand that, you know, Russell Wilson had 191 passing yards that game. Aaron Rodgers had 189 passing yards. The difference maker was Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch had 110 rushing yards. Understand, Seattle scores 14 points in the fourth quarter of that game, right? It's my belief that this upcoming game is going to be a lot lower scoring. I'm expecting a score more on par with the Fail Mary game from 2012. Right? These are the playoffs. This is not opening week. I'm expecting Marshawn Lynch to be somewhat controlled. I believe if you look at the numbers, you'll reach the conclusion that Green Bay's defense knows how to slow down Russell Wilson. I believe you'll also reach the conclusion that Seattle's defense knows how to slow down Green Bay. Right? Understand, in neither game did Green Bay score more than 20 points. Right? In the last game, Seattle scores 36 14 late, doesn't have 200 yards, a very modest total. We're not talking 300 yards, doesn't have 200 yards of passing. Right? It's going to be raining, it's going to be wet, it's going to be windy. I'm expecting a low scoring game. Let me also point out, too, week one of the season. Green Bay gave up more than 200 rushing yards to Seattle. I don't think Seattle is going to get that kind of ground game going. I would encourage you to go back and scrutinize the box score from Seattle's recent game against the Carolina Panthers, right? Understand, too, that DeMarco Murray was contained in Green Bay's last game against the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, I hope you continue to leave your comments for me here in the comment section. Just understand that I do believe Green Bay, I still believe Green Bay covers to 7.5. Let's be clear here too. Green Bay's getting the points. They're not laying the points. You're getting more than a touchdown here on a 12 regular season win team, right? That just beat the Dallas Cowboys. At a minimum, the Dallas Cowboy game, they control the Dallas Cowboy offense, right? Dallas ended up in the low 20s scoring-wise in that game. Green Bay's defense is playing, in my opinion, better now than they were playing the first week of the season. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by. If you had to pick one game as a reference point, in my opinion, it should be the 2012 game the Fail Mary game referenced in the earlier video.
Thanks for stopping by.